Morning Year 12. In this weekly review, we're going to look at net, the concept of network topologies and two layouts in particular, the star and the mesh network. So there was an expectation this week that you went through your notes and that you were able to identify or explain what a network topology, this idea of the layout of the way computers could be connected together. And in particular, there was a focus on the star and the mesh. And just to review the key points, in a star, all devices are connected to a central hub. If that hub fails, the network goes down. They're connected via ca cable. <clears throat> so that means if there's a free port in the switch, it's very easy to add an additional device. If one device goes down or a cable fails, it only takes out that device. We've discussed that these are used within the school. Lots of the classrooms, the IT suites would be star, topo star topologies. The second network that you looked at was a mesh network. And you can see already, if this is a cable, there's a massive amount of redundancy. And a low redundancy is a good. If a cable fails, we've still got other connections. It's very expensive to set up. So traditionally, well, not traditionally, but this would more often not be a Wi-Fi <coughs> infrastructure. So you've got the additional complexity in the additional costs associated with the mesh topology, but the big advantage is redundancy. <coughs> if one port goes down, all the other devices can communicate. There's lots of redundant or additional cabling. <coughs> Pardon me. So we'll look at <coughs> uh, two model answers from the questions. This question here was looking at the disadvantages of the star networks. Uh, and if I look at Alex's answer, why does this get four marks? It's very concise. We're looking at two marks per, per disadvantage. So you need to give a disadvantage and then your rationale or your justification. So one point in the star network, every device is connected to a central hub. Second point, therefore, if it fails, the entire network goes down. Clear, concise, easy to award marks. Second point, it's expensive. One mark point, why? On top of the cable, you need to buy hubs and switches. So the idea that there's additional hardware, that's a four out of four mark. Excellent GCSE answer. The second part of the homework, slightly longer, and we're going to look at Carlo's solutions. Why? Clear, concise, accurate answers with appropriate technical vocabulary. What is the topology and arrangement of elements in the network? You know, it's fine to say elements, nodes, computers, etc., devices. Make sure we're using appropriate languages. Next, we've got two differences between the star and the mesh, and we're looking for two points each. It's a four mark question. So the first difference, central hub, there's a mark point there. Whereas the mesh topology comp compares it here for a second mark point, interconnected. Second, star topology is much more simple to understand. And then the alternative to that, and the mesh is more complex and expensive to set up. So again, you're given a point and you're justifying it. The third question looked at the advantages of a star. So Alex gave us the disadvantage and I suppose we're really just flipping this round. And then again, it's simple. It's only two marks. Really, Carlos gave a lot of detail here, but we're really only looking to pull out two statements, two advantages. So the first one is false or easy to find. There's one mark point in that. Even though Carlo goes on to explain it, he's got his mark point. The node is down, it's easy to identify. Another advantage of the star is that it's easy to add extra devices without additional costs. So again, if there's a free port in the switch, we can plug it in. So plenty of information there to get that. And the final question, relatively straightforward, you were asked to draw uh, mesh topology and you can see this is a full mesh all the devices are interconnected there's six connections therefore there's six mark points there are past paper questions that have been answered accurately using appropriate technical vocabulary so folks that is the end of week two of lockdown and you have learned about network topologies can I stress the importance of continuing engage, engaging with your studies? It's very important that you are submitting work to demonstrate your understanding of the course if and when the examining boards call for centre access grades. So I'll chat. We'll meet again on Monday, usual time, quarter past 11. Stay safe and have a good weekend. Thank you.